What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. You are now watching I Stay Josh and I want to bring you guys some information while I'm sitting here waiting in the car. I want to talk about that 2022 Cadillac CTS oh. CT5V, okay, yes, the Blackwing, it gets 668 horsepower, uh, let me see what I'm missing here, V8 in the manual, sorry that it's shaking, but this camera is so damn heavy, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm struggling here, but guys, let's go ahead and talk about it and jump into it, thank you guys for watching, if you like this video, please hit that like button and hit that subscribe button, become part of the family, but guess what, you don't have to subscribe, because I'm not going to beg for subscribers, what I want you guys to know is, I want you here, I need you here, and I want you to need you here. But now, nah, if you if you just want to like the video, sure, like it. If you don't, then no. And again, a lot of this information I've been getting with some from some on-site vlogs. The most um, importantly, cars and drivers. I love those guys. I love reading their blogs. And I again, I hate reading sometimes. I know other people hate reading sometimes. They like the video edit. So I'm bringing it to you guys in a video. Um, again, let me know where you're from. Um, I had a few viewers from India. I had a few viewers from like Malaysia. Like pretty cool, pretty cool places, man. So. If you're watching this video right now, where are you from? Welcome back. Thank you guys again. What's Gucci? Boston bitch, she bougie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, hey. you goofy. Told niggas you don't like me, show me. And if you don't wanna fight me, sue me. Guarantee niggas won't like the new me. This feel like a Spike Lee movie. Room full of hoes and I might get choosy. Please excuse me. So again, guys, I couldn't be me if I didn't bring you the news. We are here talking about this beautiful 2022 Cadillac CTS V. Oh my god, if I said CTSV one more time. It is the CT5V, okay? Blackwing gets a glorious 668 horsepower V8 and a manual. Yes, you heard that right, a manual, okay? So the great thing about this is that people are comparing it to the M5 and stuff because it's coming out cheaper. It's not at the $100,000 price tag base, okay? This is starting at $84,009. So $84,990. This sedan will serve as a final gas-powered send-off for the Cadillac Impressive V Performance uh, Super Brand, right? So this is a great um, sports car. It's amazing. I think it's super underrated. I think people haven't really paid it much attention. Again... Guess what? This channel, I'm going to always be a little behind because I'm just working at Army Life or sitting in a car doing something crazy. All right, so Cadillac has unveiled this CT5 uh, V Blackwing Performance ed Edition. Guys, this has 668 horsepower, supercharged 6.2 liter. You know how GM is going to do it with that 6.2 liter V8, supercharged all day. But this one is a family sedan, is four doors, and it's still going to come with a manual. Okay, amazing. Now, we know the... Corvette and a Camaro ZL1 comes with a supercharged 650. So this one doing a 668 is one of the most powerful that GM has done. And honestly, other than the ZR1, which is a crazy car, this is the most powerful CTS-V out. This is a Blackwing model. I'll be honest, I don't know much about it, but the CTS or CT5-V and the CT4-V will be the last gasoline-powered models for Cadillac. You know, we know um, Ford actually came out and say must now buy 2035 or 25 or some crap like that. That That's going to be the last of gas that they make. Um, it's a big push. Um, President Biden has made a big push and in incentives for American made cars and companies that make a, go into electric cars. Tesla makes a lot of money, guys, but it's honestly not on electric cars. It's actually the credits that other manufacturers have to pay because they create gas guzzling stuff. So now you have to incentivize Tesla, pay Tesla because Tesla is going to make more cars. It's pretty much Tesla is the only thing that's keeping us flowing um, for electric muscle car or electric American cars, even though half their products are actually got getting from overseas. But hey, big shout out. So why pay the other man when you can just build it yourself? And a lot of automotive industries are starting to think about that, be smart about that, and go into that as well. Now, don't get me wrong. I love this country. I love this nation. I love automotive itself. But guys, I don't think we should go all electric because guess what? Do we have enough power? All right. Do we have enough uh, resources, enough metal? Because those things take a lot more, right? And now we got to think about... Um, when batteries go bad, how are we getting rid of this waste? How are we? So everyone wants to go electric. This is my personal opinion. This everyone wants to go electric, but actually, if every single American today had an electric car, can the market handle that? Because yes, gas is not being mined, oil is not being mined as much. But guess what? Metals are. Chemicals are still being made because after a while, when an electric battery goes by bad and you need a new one, these things have lithium and acid and different stuff in there. So is it really? You know, maybe I'm just being the negative guy here, but is it really all? Like, I support it. I love the instant torque, um, but 
I'm a little, I'm a little at on how I feel. And then, you know, side note, Tesla is uh, updating their fleet. So that's a new video that we're going to come out with in a little. So when it comes to the manual, it's going to have the six speed Tremec uh, TR6060 gearbox from the Camaro. Um, so they're going to stick with that. I believe that's an Australian made uh, thing. I don't know. Mexican. Because my windshield, believe it or not, for the ZL1 is a Mexican built or built in Mexico, which is so crazy. But it's an American car. All right. So anyways, um, we have confirmation that the CT5 V Blackwing along with the CT4 V Blackwing sibling, the little smaller brother, will be the last gasoline powered, which is crazy. All right. So they're saying that um, the daily drivable model CTSV started in 2004. Um, and unfortunately it's going to die out soon, but look, they went with a whole big shebang. I think when it comes to, you know, gas prices and gas guzzler fees and stuff, like I said, the government is incentivizing these brands to go all electric. So you either keep up or you're going to get pushed out a little bit on the performance side. Cadillac promises 3.7 seconds, zero to 60 time with the available quick shift in 10 speed automatic. So um, that would be awesome. The quickest they seen out the CTS or CT5V has been 3.5 uh, to 0 to 60 tested by cars and drivers. Remember, this is a 4,100 pound vehicle. Okay, the black one's amazing, four doors, but it is a sedan or whatever you want to call it. So yeah, it's a big girl. So you got to remember that as well. It's going to have to have all that power because it's a big thing. The bigger you know, it's all about displacement, right? If you put an LS engine or this engine in a Miata, that thing will fly. You put it in a big Jeep, it's going to move a little slower. So a few notes I've seen here from Cadillac. It says that the Black Wings are the company's most track-capable models ever. This means that something is coming from a uh, nearly two decades line from the Nurburgring. So I can't wait to see its time, right? This is going to be ridiculous. It's going to have 15.7-inch front rotors on there. Um, the ceramic rotors is shed supposedly shed 53 pounds from the last so we'll see so the ct5v all right is blackwing is going to have numerous structural enhancements including under the hood strut tire braces um plus extensive aero work from the front lip you can also do a different kit if you want to make sure those pieces are carbon fiber functional fender vents uh drag reducing anti-body panels um, helping it push the CT5 that claims it can do a speed of over, not 200, but over 200 miles an hour. All right. Um, so that's going to be actually pretty cool to see. And like I said, there is an available package to swap out the front and rear um, aero add-ons with the carbon fiber bits. To finish it up, like I told you guys earlier, the pricing of the CT5V Blackwing starts at $84,990. That's a pretty much like a pretty healthy $36,200 more than the CT5V, um, but actually a few thousand cheaper than the previous CTSV. So although the undercut a BMW M5 and that's really where they're going at and who they're going for is the BMW M5 and a Mercedes AMG E63. I think uh, Parker Nierstein from YouTube, you guys checked him out. He had that uh, pretty smooth, slick one. Um, but again, the CT5 is way cheaper. I'm going to say way because $20,000 is a very big difference and it beats out and com its competitors, the M3 and the uh, C63. So that's good to know. And it comes with a manual. 2021 they still making manuals and they put it in a sports car come on let's get it guys but that is it for now thank you guys for watching this video thank you guys for logging on showing some love please like if you want to subscribe if not just like the video we could go ahead and push some more content out and until next time you are now watching i stay joshing peace